Keel Photography. Um, today we're going to be going over uh, talking about telescopes, uh, specifically refractor telescopes, which uses lens uh, lenses to magnify the object that you're looking at. Um, specifically, I wanted to uh, talk about um, the differences between a singlet, a doublet, and a triplet. Uh, all of this refers to the front lens uh, on your telescope. Um, and it, uh, a triplet has three elements, a doublet has two elements, and a, a, a single has one element. Uh, whenever you're looking at certain telescopes, the prices will drastically increase depending on what you're actually looking at between a single, a double, and a triplet. A lot of telescope manufacturers also refer to some of these as APO, APO, basically uh, saying that this telescope uh, is free from chromatic aberration. Uh, chromatic aberration happens when you're focusing, well, when you use a lens to magnify light, um, it, um, it will magnify the light, but just how a prism will actually fracture light to uh, separate the red, blue, green, you know, basically a rainbow. Um, lenses will actually do that too. Um, I've got a pair of binoculars here. Uh, the majority of binoculars out there, um, especially on the lower price point, are single. Uh, occasionally you'll get a doublet, and for a lot of money you can actually find some triplet binoculars. Um, this is a, a, just a pair of um, Celestron Skymaster Pro. Actually a really great pair of binoculars, but the majority of these are single in the front, which means they magnify the light in a way where it fractures the light. So when you are looking through them, uh, especially at bright objects, you might notice around the edges um, color distortions. A lot of the times it's blue or red, occasionally it's green. Um, there are ways to correct for this uh, in post-processing, but uh, the closest you can get to a good photograph originally, the better you'll be off. Uh, what I have here is uh, a need uh, three element ED Apo, like it says right there, Apo. Um, and it's actually referring when it says three elements to the, there are three actual lenses in here, um, which actually will focus the light. Mirror telescopes don't have this problem as much. Um, well, I'm, I say as much. For the most part, they don't at all. Uh, though there are sometimes some chromatic aberrations that do come about just from the lens on your um, eyepiece. Okay, so um, this telescope, it's uh, the Mead uh, 80mm uh, Series 5000. And um, whatever your budget is, uh, definitely that will be most likely the deciding factor with your purchase, whatever you're actually looking, into, uh, looking to get into. Um, but my recommendation is, um, if, if budget allows, definitely go for a triplet. Um, there's going to be a lot of differences when you're looking at refractor telescopes. Um, there's going to be, uh, obviously price is going to be one of the largest. Um, We'll go into some of the other differences on, on the way that you, like the type of tripods and mounts that you'll actually find these telescopes on. Um, however, we will go over a few things, um, like uh, just numbers that you'll see. Uh, 80 millimeter is in reference to the size of the element on the front of the telescope. This one's 480 millimeter. Uh, that's actually in reference to um, the beginning like where, where the lens starts and where it ends. There's an F6 number right here, and that's actually in reference to uh, of how much light is actually allowed through uh, the entrance here to either your eye or to a camera. So, uh, just like this telescope is an 80 millimeter, uh, that's of how large of an aperture is on the telescope. Um, Basically, the larger the like, the larger the lens, the more light it can gather. The f6, the f-stop, that is the amount of light that is allowed in through the telescope to the camera or your eye. But basically, the lower that number is, the more light is allowed in. The higher that number is, the less light is allowed in through your camera. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you, you learned something, feel free to share this video uh, with some of your friends. Um, yeah. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.